I don't know, like you swelling all up and all. What's all this swell up shit? What's that? <laughs> What's on your mind, huh? What you gonna put your chin up? S O S capital T, soft. <laughs> Damn, one of my toes in the bottle. Damn it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> life what do you know about life what do you feel about life big questions big questions now this one is a movie starring i was gonna say jennifer lawrence it's not jennifer lawrence it's martin lawrence and Eddie Murphy. So Martin Lawrence, obviously, most of you are going to know him from Bad Boys. I remember seeing him do stand-up shows when I was younger. And the first movie I remember him being in was probably House Party with Kid and Play. I don't think he was he in Class Act as well. I'm not sure if he was in Class Act, but he played Bilal, the DJ in House Party. Yeah, I think actually he was in Boomerang as well with Eddie Murphy. Boomerang's another great movie. Eddie Murphy don't need no introduction, really, does he? Everyone knows Eddie. His first experiences of him was probably Beverly Hills Cop when I was a kid, Raw, and the other one is Delir uh, Delirious, which is his two stand-up shows that he done, and th those even now will cause major, major <laughs> uproar. Miss Eddie Murphy, you know, when he was like that, he was he was outstanding. To be honest, he was he was absolutely brilliant. But this is one of those movies that has been sort of I don't know slipped by slipped by me over the years. I just never got around to watching, and it's quite surprising, really because it's got Bernie Mac in it and I'm a fanatic for Bernie Mac he's probably other than Richard Pryor I'd say Bernie Mac's probably my favourite comedian ever like I love that man so very much and I'm so sad that I never got to see him on stage not many people I'm, I regret not seeing he's one of them Michael Jackson I had tickets and then he passed away Barry White I had tickets for he passed away but I've seen the likes of like Wu-Tang I've seen Jodeci Drew Hill Keith Sweat like anyone and everyone that I've wanted to see in my life I've seen but there's a couple of comedians that that are kind of slipped me by but anyway life I'm guessing this is uh, from the cover art that you guys have sent me it's Jow so I'm, I'm guessing they're doing life in jail for something i don't know whether this is going to be like a hardcore comedy i expect it will with those two or <laughs> a sure shank redemption kind of tale where they both get out and it's a great story I, I really haven't got a clue what to expect because it's 20 years ago 1999 i'm expecting something pretty good because around that time eddie murphy was on fire weren't he so yeah i'm expecting good things from this film so i hope that bernie max in it a bit because any bit of new you know visuals for me of, of the king of comedy in my eyes will be you know very very welcome for those of you that want to watch the longer versions of these videos you can subscribe or join our channel you'll see it on the home page our youtube home page you click join and then you can watch all of these like the full the full whole shebang and you can watch it along with me and there's like a little clock in the thing so you can you've got to have your own copy but there's a clock in the bottom so you can like follow along press play at the same time and we'll watch these movies together right okay Hey, are we ready to get into this? I'm ready to get into it. I know I'm sounding chilled, but I'm good. I'm good. All right, guys, let's do this. Three, two, one, go. Dun, dun. Da, 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 Sounds like uh, that song sounds like Wycliffe, no? Oh, I like this truck though, this is big. Hey, I told you it's bloody Wycliffe, I know that voice anywhere. For those that don't know, Wycliffe Jean of um, Fuji's Ooh La La La. May God have mercy on their souls. You can go ahead, fellas. Look like you're finally free now, boys. No way, that's Eddie Murphy, is it? See, he had what we call exacting standards when it comes to the hooch. So what were they, bootleggers? Something like that. Oh, so it's one of them ones, like a, a go back in time. All right, cool. Weren't expecting this at all. <laughs> About that time I bought your girl them alligator shoes, man, huh? Well, what's the problem? Did I come through for you? Yeah, yeah. Bitches wearing pigs again when I met. I got out the swine, she wearing alligator. Let me in. <laughs> 
He's <laughs> saying alligator shoes. He's such an idiot. You know what I'm gonna buy with my first paycheck? What, baby? Season tickets to the Yankees. Right there. <laughs> I was hoping you were going to say an engagement ring, Claude. Engagement ring? That was funny. <laughs> Start having babies. <laughs> yeah, I'd have a baby with her. She's banging, mate. I'll be right back, baby. All right. Hang on. Are they our friends or are they not friends? Uh-oh, that's not a good look that he's giving him. I could never pull off wearing a brown suit, a brown jacket like that. I'd look like an idiot. But Eddie Murphy, look. Brown jacket. Come on. Just looks right, doesn't it? Hello, what's going on here? Excuse me. Oh, I'm sorry, man. My mistake. Ah, uh, it's a pickpocket. Oh, he was just following him to pickpocket his share uh, call. Are you wearing that dress? Yeah, Woo! <laughs> man, it's hot in here tonight. Hot. Gutted. But I really think we got to get out Excuse of here. Excuse me, sir. Oh, dear. Such an incredibly large bill. Ah, uh, they're both in trouble then. Okay. Right. That's it. That, that, that's not. <laughs> I don't know what you dining ditch. Over ten bucks. Dining ditch. Drop him. Oh Wait, shit! Oh, Jimmy, drop him. Now this ain't the way you. Tr <laughs> <laughs> I was supposed to wear this suit on my day. Listen to me now. I think I can get down there in two, three days, you know, as long as I have somebody to help me do the drive. Oh, so they're gonna, okay, to get out of trouble and they get caught, obviously. Right, I got ya. Well, I just wanna be with somebody that ain't gonna put a bullet in my head once the truck is full. Lift him. But not that you would do something like having. Yeah. <laughs> get this, I'm gonna call my place. Take this out. Raise, boom, boom, roam. <laughs> <laughs> Hey man, if you heard it was a place called the Boom Boom Room, what do you want to Oh, it's the Boom Boom, the Boom Boom Room. You'd want to. Shit, yeah, you'd want to. You idiot. Boom Boom Room. <laughs> what you think? He don't want to be there, he should be at his job, do you know what I mean? <laughs> no, no, I'm just laughing to myself. Yeah. No, you find something very amusing. What's what's so funny? I don't know, it's just bank tellers just sound like ladies work to me. Something I always pick. <laughs> <laughs> well, how I get along? You? Yes, me. What's you? What? <laughs> <laughs> My daddy gave me that watch. Look at that. Yeah, well, who'd he steal it from? Hey, you watch your mouth. You <laughs> about my daddy. My daddy's dead. <laughs> Looks like a fake to me. Blown denied. Hey, you know something, Claude? Fuck you. You gotta take my business elsewhere. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear, oh dear. White neighborhood. How come you missed that sign on the door over there? Oh. We want some pie, okay? okay? We are hungry, okay? We want, Billy, we want some pie. I agree with Martin Lawrence, but you know, them times. Could you imagine how difficult it must have been back then as well? Like, imagine, like, if you're a white dude, yeah? I know that like, it had the racism and that, yeah? But there must have been white dudes and white women that fell in love with people of different races. It must have been crazy, mate. I, 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 I wouldn't have survived. Oh, Let me tell you right? something. Listen to me. Listen. Listen. Monday you can go be a bank town, but tonight you are a bootlegger. Truckload of Mississippi's finest. Oh, so they've done, right, they've done the job. They've got the cash. Go home. Yeah, go home. I'm gonna go have myself a good time. And I got the keys with me in case you want to leave nigga down here in the woods. I know how you think. You know. <laughs> nah, you should just do your thing and leave. I recognise her. What do I know her from? I ain't never seen you in here before. Whoa. My name's Sylvia. What's your name? I'm sorry, I can't help it. She's... Can't you remember your own name? No. Mr. C. She would turn you into a man, a woman like that. God. Is she trouble? Is that what this is? She's trouble, isn't she? <laughs> oh, he's killing it. What you want to go home for? So early. 
Why yo what 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 He's in a movie called The Legend of 1900 with Tim Roth, this guy, piano player. Two seconds. Ah, uh, what are you doing, bro? This is the gambling drug, man. It just... You fool. You absolute fool. What the fuck? <laughs> Did he just get hustled? Like, or was that legit? I what told the you. Fuck is this? You hurt my arm. Where you going? They got hustled. They got hustled. I thought we agreed that you was gonna leave town. I was gonna leave Sheriff Pike, but your wife, she begged me to stay. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> know where this is going, don't we? <laughs> she looked religious. <laughs> yeah, well. They've both been fooled. Yeah. Idiots. One more against you, I take all your front set. I swear. See how you go back to New York. That's <laughs> Look like you fixing to make your mouth up and say why. If I do, I'm gonna whip your ass. Right. In fact, don't even say. <laughs> Couple of fun. Tell you something, Claude. Can that twin? I'm all shot. And I just want to get back to New York. All right. What makes you think? <gasps> Shit. Yep, that's him, and he's dead. Sister got to took my watch from me. Hey. Oh no. Oh no. This fella look like he dead. Oh no. <laughs> no, no, no. He's not dead, he's drunk. He's he, he, too drunk. He to They've been set up, haven't they? Absolutely set up. Oh my god. You're responsible for this whole situation. Yeah. Yeah, I blame you. Oh, I want to swear so much. Evening, boys. Evening, Oh, look, it's the dodgy cop. Yeah, fuck you. I will swear, fuck this guy. We take murder very seriously. But we didn't kill nobody. I keep telling you, man was dead when we found him. And, and he was already dead. Oh, oh mate, I'm gonna. Fuck this guy. Uh, we didn't murder nobody. That was Spanky's booze. What, what's the worst that can happen to us, Ray? Life. Life? What do you mean, life? Hell no, I ain't doing I wouldn't have lasted, I'm telling you. Like, I know it's just a film, bit of comedy and all of that sort of stuff, but it is kind of hitting home on some stuff that it would have been like that back then. And nah, mate. I'm not, I'm not, no, I'll get, I'll get my channel deleted. You know me guys, I'll get myself in trouble, but I would have done something to someone. We wouldn't be allowing that. <sighs> dear, oh dear, oh dear. I hope that sheriff gets, gets what's coming to him. I forgot about bloody Bernie Mac. I guess he's going to be one of the prison guards or he's in prison. Believe me, I'm not impressed. I've seen it all before. Recognise him and all. Got some fresh meat for you right down there. Take yourself right down there find your ass a bump. Don't get me wrong. Um, I think I know who Hopping Bob is. Weren't he in 48 hours when he went to go see someone in prison? I'm pretty sure it was. But he had one eye. Is that him? He tired. Uh -huh. You tell that lazy jigaboo the state of Mississippi. My God, the language in this. Well, they'll find we do things different down here. <laughs> yeah, you noticed. Oh, dear, oh, dear. <laughs> Get them pics of swiggers! You heard me, New York City. I'll slap the black off your ass. Get the water! Yeah, really funny you are, mate. Really funny. Either one of you new fellas know how to read? I know how to read. Why? Here he is at the bottom. In a big tornado in which your mama and your daddy were both killed. <laughs> Anybody else got something they want read? <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you. I'd rather not know. Hey, hey, hey. How you doing? <clears throat> if you need anything, Name Jingling, Jingling. Jingling. Claude. Claude. Yeah, Claude. Hand nice and subtle, <laughs> like a lady. <laughs> what the hell I tell you about pitching woo on the? Oh, I miss you, Bernie Max, so very, very much. Why you think they call him Jingling? You gonna find out for me. <laughs> Jesus, good God Almighty, in with the bandana as well. Were you having a laugh? Can't remember where I know him from. I know he was in Street Fighter as well, weren't he? It's a long story. He killed the slum bitch with a claw hammer when he was 13 years old. So they say. A lot of people say it though. <laughs> <laughs> How long you been in here? What you do? Slum bitch shot your sister in the head with ass. She was my half sister. What? You the one skinned your landlady alive and made a jacket out of her. <laughs> well, at least he didn't kill Santa Claus. What? Man, he 
ain't had presents. I ain't getting nothing. You can't win them. Uh, call and raid. Call and raid. Fuck it, you know, sometimes you got to do certain shit. It's just enough to... Pe they're, just, they're just trying to keep themselves safe, aren't they? So people mess, don't mess with them. That's your cornbread. Fuck him. Hey, man, he gonna eat his cornbread, all right? Fuck you. Right. Wow. Maybe I ought to eat your cornbread. Oh, oh. Fuck, you can't have my cornbread. That's for damn <laughs> Fuck that, because I'm from New York City, goddammit. That go for you and any other you motherfucking farmers want to try some shit. <laughs> He's a big guy, isn't he? Yep, got a couple of punches, but it ain't going to do a lot. Now's a good time to throw in a towel, you know what I'm saying? He ain't giving up. I told you they're going to end up as friends. Get my cornbread, Claude. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it was a test as well to see if they would break. Do you see what I'm saying? Yo, listen to that music, man. That's beautiful. Like a mini hymn, isn't it? It ain't got nothing on the boom boom room. You ever go to New York, go to Ray's boom boom room. He's such an idiot. He's the reason I'm in here. I got a better shot of getting out here on my own. You tell Melvin to think about me. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. What do you know about boats? Man, you probably don't even know how to swim. I know a boat can help sell our ass away from here. <laughs> well, I sure like to see that place and you get it all up and running. Yeah, me too, Ray. Me too. I like to see that roll too. <laughs> You gotta have something to dream about, you know? Satchmo was up in there and nearly blew the roof off the place. Right? Who, who, who that? Satchmo. Louis Armstrong? Yeah. Satchmo. The one and only Louis Armstrong. Go ahead there, Ray. Finish telling us about oh, that. Go on, Ray. Satchmo. Go on, Ray. Tell me yeah. something. Go ahead, Ray. Tell you, Ray. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> you He's on my mind. Bang, girl. I take the door. Sorry, you get emotional. It's just fucking. It's lovely to see Bernie Mac smile again. It's lovely to see Bernie Mac smile again. Lucky seven. My man. Lucky number seven. Roll them dice, baby. Sorry, Captain. Shut your mouth and your fat ass, boy. Don't be playing with yourselves. Yeah, sorry to get emotional here. It was just like a nice little. Fantasy dream moment to see Bernie like that, you know, see him smiling away. Just damn shame. Damn shame. Sure as I think it's going to rain later. I think I'd rather have just been locked up in a cell than doing this. Like in this heat. Ray, the appeal was denied. Well, I'm glad. Then Daisy went and fell for Melvin Alley and... <gasps> oh! Let me figure it out for you. Eeny, meeny, miny, Melvin! <laughs> <laughs> you got to learn a whole lot more about friendship. A lot more. A lot more. Hey, boss, he ain't working. <laughs> I don't know, like you swelling all up and all. What's all this swell up shit? What's that? <laughs> What's on your mind, huh? What, you gonna put your chin up? Huh? S O S cap with a T. Soft. <laughs> Soft. <laughs> Eddie Murphy was an absolute genius. He was a genius at this time. Nobody knocking me down, Ray. You know that fucking knocked me down in the dirt box. What'd they get? What'd they get? The two stones. Nice. Is that to escape? Oh, they did. They done a runner. Don't tell me you don't know where we're going. I drew it up because I knew your ass wouldn't come unless I had a man. Yep, yeah, initiative. Fair play, man. I mean, does it matter? You're out. Just run. Damn it. Damn it. Yeah, come on, come on. Ah, oh, crap. May roll. Honey, what you think we ought to do with these two teach them a lesson, huh? Night in the hole. Well, she was actually sweet. A night in the hole isn't too bad. It's been an attempted escape. Is this going to be like the great escape where they all get out? I hope it is, man. 
<laughs> He's language. I love him when he gets angry. That was the first time that Ray and Claude ran, but it sure wasn't the last. I would have tried as well, man. Put it right to him, man. <laughs> Who wants to hit now? Don't nobody want to hit. Would you want to hit? Oh, go on, mate. Swing, go on, take a swing at that. Come on, uh, come on there. Let's see what you can. Oh, he's gonna be a pro like a pro pro prodigy, a pro you know, a, a phenomenon. Go on, mate. Ooh, baby. He's got a gift. That might, been, that might just been one, you know, retard mistake. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Bernie, you're such an idiot. <laughs> and he's done it again, bruv. Yo, go on, son. That girl got game. Oh, that's the little girl from the beginning. Hey, boy, you looking just a little bit too hard. My ass, you better just. That's yeah, that's the little girl from from earlier. Okay. This is Stan Blocker, scout for the Negro Leagues. Negro Leagues, actually. Oh, this guy, I hope he gets it, mate. I really do. Heard a rumor you got a boy up here who can hit the ball a ton. He's in The Walking Dead. Do you remember? I think it was season two or three. The guy who had the science lab and they thought he had the cure. That's that guy there. I know his face anyway. Oh, no. Don't tell me she's checking him out. Oh, no. This is bad. <laughs> Women will be the death of you, mate. Look at the ball, mate. Forget the women. <laughs> oh, and, uh, what about us? Don't forget to mention us. Yeah, you know, because we kind of like his um his handlers. You know, we take care of everything. Yeah, yeah I'm putting a good word for you, boys. Well, there's nothing that he can, he can't do nothing to get them out, but he might be able to get the kid out. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, y'all got some. I mean, it's, if they're exploiting him or whatever, was it better to be in prison or out? It's better to be out, right? Ah, the world's a messed up place. What's going on? What's going on? Did she have a baby? Oh dear, the baby's black. Show me that grand boy. Oh no. Not being funny, wouldn't they uh, execute him for this? Oh, this is tragic. I know this is a comedy and it's making light of the situation, but this is quite sick. Imagine having to see your baby and not being at a. Oh, God. It's my baby boss. He's lying. I'm the father of that baby boss. Boss, I'm that baby's daddy. Any fool can see that baby belongs to me. <laughs> I don't know if this is supposed to be like that, but... I be the pa boss. I'm the pa of that dear young and boss. I'm the peppy. Trust Bernie to always come in and... That's heartbreaking, mate. They're going to kill him. They're going to find out it's him and they're going to kill him. To celebrate his departure, can't we do ourselves a Oh, it's her again. She's so hot, bruv. It wasn't quite the boom boom room, but it was close enough. It was our boom boom room. That'll do. What's your problem? Sitting around looking all sad and shit. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? This is a release form, man. You getting out this motherfucker. What you sitting around looking all sad for? What am I going to do out there, Ray? I can't go home to my mama like this. Oh, dear. You can't stay here. That's for damn sure. I tell you what else. Anybody else in this whole place, you give his right arm to be in your shoes right now. I know I would. I weren't expecting this to have some, uh, you know, interracial love. A gay black man. I weren't expecting it to have some... I thought it was going to be just comedy all the way through. Damn. You going to smile or something? There you go. All right, nigga. I'll see you in a minute. Damn. This is good stuff, mate. I'm really enjoying this. He's going to do something stupid, isn't he? Where you going, Biscuit? 
he's gonna do something stupid. Oh crap, oh crap. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. He couldn't face going home. Oh, God. Oh, I didn't see this coming. I feel like I'm always crying on the videos now. You lot have got to stop. You've got to stop giving me this shit with emotions in it, man. You've got to stop. Uh, it's like you want me to suffer, fuckers. Is he out? Did he get out? I mentioned you. I mentioned both of you. Pardons don't come cheap. That kid can hit. What can you guys do? What can we do? I understand what they're saying, but I knew this was going to happen. I knew this was going to happen. The man said he was going to put in a good work. Explain. Explain yourself. One man is better than nothing. No words are needed, G. This is wicked stuff. Completely not, not the movie I thought it was going to be. I, I was expecting the whole thing to just be silly comedy, like start to finish. I weren't expecting bloody getting all serious and shit. This is wicked, mate. Can't get right, just got himself a pardon signed by the governor, thanks to us. Don't you feel a little frustrated right now, Ray? Of course you do, but there's nothing you can do, bro. My daddy died in a place like this because of that shit you talk. He gave up hope and hung himself. And I ain't going out like that, Claude. Maybe you just a chip off the old block. Ah, that's a low blow, bro. The only thing I regret is the day I met you, Ray. Well, I ain't got nothing else to say to your ass then. Thank you. I mean, Eddie Murphy might be a complete mess up, but he's a loyal cat. He's a loyal cat. I think I was just expecting this to be, I don't know, out and out jokes all the way through, you know? Oh, you're fucking joking me. He's, he, he died. Huh. He crashed. Unlucky, buddy. At least he tried. Are these guys all dying? Are you fucking kidding me, bruv? 28 years. Pie. White only pies. White only pies, yeah, that was it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Surely the, the, the bottles would smash. I want you to shoot him dead. You do that, I swear to God. You Hello, they're giving you a gun. They're giving you a gun. What'd he say? He's giving you a gun. What are you doing? You know, I got to be, I got to be honest with you here, boss. You don't want to give me that gun. But I'd probably shoot you with it. Well said. I beg your pardon? You said something to me? <laughs> <laughs> After all these years of blissful sounds, I forgot how annoying the sound of your voice is. <laughs> you, every time you start talking, I'm almost fall. Will you, die? Will you stop? Just don't say nothing else to me. <laughs> Damn, one of my toes in the bottle. Damn it. Yeah. <laughs> What's that mean? Well. Hmm. So why was that emotional for no reason? Like. I must mm. apologize, Claude. That was rude of me. Oh, that's all right, Buck. Takes more than some colorful brochure to hurt my feelings. You've been on the farm for quite a spell, haven't you? That's disgusting. For a crime you never committed. Half the men in this prison swear they're innocent. That's true. Don't think that's kind of funny. But you have to forgive me if I don't laugh. Are they going to get the guy, the, the sheriff? Who was the guy with the... I forgot all about him. The guy with the cut on his face. Are we going to find out who that was? Like, you know, are we going to catch up with him? Just what the fuck you doing, <laughs> right? You know I knew. <laughs> I'm going to sleep. Good night, Ray. Why don't you go to sleep? Why, I can't, why for I can't just sit here and look at your ass and wonder what you got up your sleeve? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty soon, who you supposed to be, Harry Belafonte? Well, I look very dapper, very dapper now, don't I? Now, don't touch this car. Why don't they just steal the car and go? You got to say nasty shit, Ray. Because I'm a nasty motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> you go, you're a free man. 
I'm not sure what year it is. Is this coming back from like Vietnam around that time? Don't recognise the world anymore, do you, bro? Yeah, it looks kind of 70s, yeah. Uh, that is him. That's him. Scar on his face. He passed away a few years ago, this fella. He played the sergeant in Full Metal Jacket. Another wonderful actor. He was also in Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the remake. Some faces you just don't forget. One pike is one of them. All right. That's the man that got you 40 years. Ready to call it a day. He's got his fucking watch. Oh my god. Oh my god. He done the right thing though. How the hell are they gonna explain this? I believe it belongs to me. Imagine you've done 40 years for nothing. It found its way back home. Found its way back home. There's no way to make up for 40 years. It's not his fault. Would you mind helping me upstairs? He's gonna have a fucking heart attack, isn't he? I'm not your boss. Not anymore. What happened? Heart attack? What happened is old man Wilkins never come out of the bathroom. Are you kidding me? Died on the shit. <laughs> that must have been pretty messed up for them, man. What a crap life. On deck for what? For what? That upper room, nigga. The upper room. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wonderful. The upper room. Let cocaine, heroin, marijuana, all that. <laughs> hey, come on, Lou, cover that up. Don't nobody want to see that shit. Put your drawers oh, on. <laughs> oh, wow. Are they actually going to try to escape here? I mean, they're 90 years old. Where the hell are they going to go? They've set fire to it. Are you telling me that's how they really went out? Nah, they got out, mate. They got out. Slip right on to them fire engines, see? Hide out. What makes you think that ain't work? I never said it didn't work. They did get out. <laughs> Is it? Oh, mate. They got out. I should never have fucking been in there, man. You had just said that I would, uh, You said it, uh, You know what? Here with it. <laughs> <laughs> they now live in Harlem. Together. <laughs> She could be having me stand up in this car. I got them. your bitch be standing. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wonderful. Well, I know it's 1932, eh? Yeah, I'm the first one that had it. <laughs> you were scared, huh? Don't be scared. Oh, no. <laughs> God, my. <laughs> What's wrong? The mustache too big. <laughs> 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 My cheeks are hurting. You, know, you think they're funny? Ah, <laughs> uh, what? I don't know what to say. Right, let's get to our review of life. Right, ladies and gentlemen, that was Life starring Martin Lawrence and, of course, Eddie Murphy. So we'll go through the good, the bad and the rating. So first off, the good. This had an impeccable cast. It wasn't the movie I was expecting. I was expecting it to be like a solid, full-on comedy, not the serious elements. And it caught me a little bit off guard with the, the baseball player, a bit with his son. That was tragic. That was tragic. The fact that they were in prison for so long, you know, innocent men, it's... In general, I just that was a really impressive movie. Um, yeah, I'm a bit of an idiot for not watching that one sooner. Bit of an idiot for yeah, definitely an idiot for not watching that one sooner. There's not really much that I disliked about the film, really, other than the fact that it, I mean it was almost two hours long, and the 
characters that passed well I'm guessing that they passed away and didn't get out and they were sort of vanishing and stuff Bernie Mac and all that I wish we would have had a bit more time with those characters to see how they passed away or whatever but that's just because I was enjoying myself watching it the guy the gay guy that didn't want to leave I mean that was tragic I'm, I'm kind of mixing up where I am with the good and the bad at the moment sorry but there weren't really much that I disliked about the movie now let's get to the rating for this movie now this is a movie from 1999 and it covers everything it had great music good um, cinematography I'd say I'd give this a 7 or an 8 out of 10 you know 7 or an 8 out of 10 I really really enjoyed this movie and I think I would like to watch more movies like this it was a bit more goofy and silly compared to a film like Shawshank Redemption like being another prison movie but this still had a lot of serious elements to it which I really really enjoyed I'm just gutted that they didn't get out until the very end like that you know I know it was a movie called Life but man they suffered unbearably for a very very long time and it's just it's horrible to think that that's happened to people still happens to people today i'm gonna leave it there ladies and gentlemen thank you very much for watching my name is ramon this is hit or miss tv and i'll see you guys